Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I had a request that I thought was interesting on the channel, and it was about signals and that I would actually tell you that you can try for, or you know, some are easy, some are tougher, on each megahertz range. So, a selection of a few signals that pretty much anybody can get, depending on where they are with more or less difficulty um, depending on where you are also some will have uh, more difficulty than others some might not even receive the signals because if you're in Europe in North America on some ranges you might not hear some of the signals I'm going to talk about but general talk of you know what I would recommend that you could try and we're going to try uh, start with the 2 to 3 megahertz range and I'll have a few things that I wanted to mention. So first of all, from 2,000 to 3,000 kilohertz, it's a mix of marine band um, and utilities of all sorts and also um, aeronautical band at the top part of the 2,000 megahertz range. So are there any specific signals that you can try? There are many frequencies. If you look at EIBI space.de and you look at the uh, frequency list, You'll notice that there's a lot of signals in Europe that are scattered from actually the upper part of the medium wave band, about 1610 kilohertz, all the way through 3000 kilohertz. A lot of marine stations are broadcasting from different countries. So that's one thing that you can look at and try for. Also, in North America, there's, are, there's a certain number of marine stations, also a lot of Canadian marine stations, uh, including also one in Alaska that has uh, some uh, frequencies that are in the um, 2 megahertz range. Uh, 2054 kilohertz, 2054 kilohertz upper sideband, uh, VAJ and Prince Rupert um, radio in uh, British Columbia. Uh, there's also some winter facts coming out of Kodiak, Alaska, uh, from station NOJ. So there are schedules for this online. Uh, EIBI Space does have some of the schedules. Um, easier to receive stations. So here on the East Coast, it's kind of tough. I've never heard the 2054 kilohertz. But on the West Coast, it's easier. And actually using online SDRs, I've been able to receive some of them. Now, if we continue to focus on the frequency range of 2,000 uh, to 3,000 kilohertz, of course, one signal that's uh, to try for in North America particularly is the um, WWV time signal. This is, of course, on 2,500 kilohertz. It's a night signal mostly because, in the most part, uh, these signals will be um, kind of, um, you know, easier in the nighttime than in the daytime, unless you live really close. Um, so 2500 kilohertz. Um, here in Montreal on the East Coast, it gets in usually around 0405 UTC. It starts getting into a decent signal, not super strong, but it's there. Also, there's the Canadian marine stations that broadcast um, in French and English with the different weather broadcasts that you can try for. And upper sideband, of course. Uh, one frequency to try is um, 2598 upper sideband. And also, you can try for 2749 kilohertz which is also a frequency where you have a lot of activity there, uh, especially in the evening. And I've, uh, I've seen some people actually hear these frequencies up to the West Coast, so uh, you should check that out for sure. And here on the top part, uh, check for aeronautical frequencies and stations, because uh, I hear some activity here on the East Coast from Gander, um, there's on the West Coast, 2998 San Francisco should come in. Uh, so these are to check for 2962 on the East uh, to try for the North Atlantic uh, E route. Uh, so this is um, to check for aeronautical communications at nighttime mostly. So New York, 2962 is one that I've heard some activity there. So you might hear some... Uh, some uh, cell call and all of that in there. 
Also, another uh, frequency that I hear activity uh, in the upper part over here is on the... Um, um, trying to remember what frequency. Was, I think it's New York. Uh, New York. And 2998 sometimes, I believe, I hear some uh, activity there. Uh, there's, of course, Gander just above at 3016. But uh, these are mostly what I will actually go and check out. So um, do monitor. There's some stuff in there. And, of course, some of you might say, well, yeah, there's a 120-meter band of broadcast band. Yeah, but it's pretty much dead today. It's not totally gone. I mean, there are some stations in the Asia uh, region that seem to have some um, broadcast there. I know that uh, there are some, there's a couple of Australians that are irregulars uh, that have been heard around the 2300 kilohertz. And uh, there's also a station called Shortwave Australia that been heard on 2310. But overall, a lot, if not most of these, are now um, thing of the past for the 2 megahertz range. So check it out. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. And 2,000 to 3,000 kilohertz, especially in really, really darkness, um, middle of the night, or often pretty good in the wintertime, if you want to try for some of the utility stations there. Most of them, except for WWV, pretty much everything else in upper sideband is what you'll get. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.